It's 77 days until the release of Elden Ring on the 25th of February 2022, and I'm playing as your ex-girlfriend who hates you. Um, see, look, see the anger in her eyes. She, wow, she, that's scary. She's livid. Um, but then, you know, I don't think I don't think it really worked out, did it? I mean, like the relationship just kind of petered out, and um, I don't think anyone was really to blame. But um, she told all of her friends that she was the one that dumped you. When in actuality, it was you. But pff, who knows? <laughs> you know, it's one word against another. And then your friendship group had to be split in the middle. And now you never see Paul anymore. Which is a shame. Because, you, you know, Paul was a sound geezer and you really liked Paul. But you just kind of wish that one day maybe Paul might just text you. And say, hey, hey bro, how you doing? Do you want to wanna play some Paul or something? Um, cause that's my name, and uh, yeah, so let's let's get this uh, party started. So um, yeah, I'm playing this on um, uh, Dark Souls Three, uh, and this is a copy of PlayStation Five or the Xbox. And um, here we are, coming out of the grave as a herald, using a spear like an absolute loser. And the only good thing about having a spear is you can go bosh like that. And um, oh, we might as well just pick up the shiny, just in case I actually decide to play as someone's ex-girlfriend. Who knows? There you go. I don't think so, though. I mean, it'll, you know. But uh, what you want to do is you want to just collect all the Fading Souls and the Ash Ashen Estus Flask. And you want to run through this arch. And you basically want to just dodge the arrow. Um, Stab him a little bit and just keep going. Really, you want to make sure that your spear clips through the uh, cape. Um, yeah, you got to make sure that happens, or possibly the ground as well. Like you kind of want that to clip through the ground. Um, you know you're doing it right when you don't like the bonfire. And uh, yeah, let's go dodge around this guy and roll down here. Ignore the titanite shard because we all know that your um, ex-girlfriend got better titanite shards from that guy from work. And, you know, you don't, she doesn't need them. She doesn't need your titanite anymore. She's very much happy with Jonathan's t titanite. So uh, we all, we all uh, appreciate that. Okay, so once you get to Gundir, you want to pull out the coiled sword. Uh, as we know, it's his prized possession next to his massive dick that he will beat you to death with, um, and you just want to kind of dodge around, just dodge around him basically, and maybe maybe I'm going to try an old trick which never worked, um, I can't even remember what, who is this, your ex-girlfriend, yeah this is your ex-girlfriend, what was her name, um, Pamela, it's Pamela, anyway it's Pamela, Pammy, um, I guess, um, you know, she had that uh, job in marketing, um, and she always thought that maybe your job, you know, you could have done better. Um, she, you know, basically, she just had a very low opinion of you. And, uh, you know, the honeymoon period was, was, was over a long time ago. Uh, I think maybe it was the case of that you did spend a shitload of money on that first date, and it gave her impressions. Like, she was like, oh, this guy's obviously got some money, but... No, no, definitely haven't. Um, I know you'll no longer see, uh, uh, you know, Timothy and Steve and um, Greg. You never see Greg again because they were all her friends. Um, but you got along really well with them. And you also support the same football team, which is quite surprising. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things, I think. And there you go. Look. And I suppose on that note, isn't it good that she's dead now? Because now you're free. Your life is better now. So, um, yeah.